Bolton Grant took a gamble coming into this competition. It paid off originally at 231, but now he faces going out of this World Championship. He needs this height to stay in contention. Oh, he's got it! That's a new British record. He equals the Commonwealth record. And this amazing man has done it again. It moves him up into bronze. It would be an amazing achievement if Dalton Grant secured a bronze medal in this world championship. But what about the competitiveness of this Haringey athlete? He squeezed his way over the bar. The bar shook, but it didn't come off. Equal Commonwealth record and new British figures. I'll tell you what, that was a real test of character and he came through it with flying colours. How many times have we seen him come up with a third jump to save them? It's quite incredible, really. He's proving himself to be the great competitor. That was living very dangerously indeed. He believes in himself, and he believes he can win a medal here quite clearly, and at the moment, he's in bronze medal position. I wonder. I'm just wondering whether he can believe it himself. It was a bit cheeky coming into this competition at 2.31 after every other jumper had started this World Championship. But then to pass a 2.34, which was equal to his personal best, and to come back in and fail twice at 2.36, and then to clear it on third attempt, simply incredible. So the bar has now been raised to 2 metres and 38. The first athlete to attempt it, Charles Austin from the United States, he passed at 2.36. He had a first-time clearance at 2.34. So if he goes clear here, he's back in the hunt for medals. Oh, my goodness. I think 60,000 people believed he'd gone clear. He must have... Oh, he's clipped it as well. So Conway... A little bit of bother in Chicago, Illinois. He's only six feet tall, just to give you some idea of the difference between uh, his height and the height of that bar. And Olympic silver medalist in Seoul, that was his first real appearance on the world scene. And he's been pretty useful ever since. Dalton doesn't take long to get himself ready, and then he explodes into this very fast approach run. So his first attempt, 2 metres and 38. Well, that was a good attempt. Dates his second attempt at 2.38, and he's going to need this if he's to stay in the hunt for the medals. Oh, he's got it! Second time! That equals the championship record. The championship record, 238, set by Schoberg, Paklin and Ojenko of the Soviet Union back in 1987. And Charles Austin goes clear, second attempt. He touched the bar, but it wasn't sufficient to dislodge it. So the 23-year-old goes clear, and he's now back in gold medal position. That, cl that clearance by Charles Austin pushed Dalton Grant down into fourth place. So this is his last attempt. 2.38. He needs it to stay in this championship. Oh, it's not to be. He gave it his all throughout this competition. He set new British figures. He equaled the Commonwealth Games record. But Dalton goes out of the hunt for the medals. But uh, certainly in terms of world championships, our highest ever in these world championships. Well, what impressed me about that was his attitude. To come in at 2.31, he really believed. And uh, to pass at 2.34 and then to go clear at 2.36, and uh, break the British record to equal the Commonwealth record was quite something. 
and he's come of age certainly in terms of his appearances in major championships. First athlete to attempt two meters 40. First time failure. And we've just heard, in fact, that Schoberg has left the stadium, so possible injury problems there. Because of a severe injury to his left ankle, it will mean that Sotomayor stays in silver. And his continued bad luck in major championships continues. Stin safe in the knowledge he is the new champion, will try to break the world record. And that would be a double blow for Sotomayor, because it is 2.44, that are Sotomayor's figures at the moment. Dalton Grant with a new British record in fourth place, just out of the medals.